What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource, and welcome to Setup Wars episode 94, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you want to participate, you know what to do. Make sure to watch the video link down below. Let the Setup Wars begin. If you guys are shopping around for your next game, make sure to check out G2A.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available for pretty much any game. I'll drop a link to them down below if you want to check it out. Starting off the show, we got a very mellow and relaxing setup from Michael. He's got a 27-inch BenQ monitor hooked up on the wall, along with a pair of Wavemaster speakers up top, and a pretty cool Galaxy mural as well. Oh yeah, and that Joker poster on the other wall. I feel like adding any Heath Ledger Joker poster in your room automatically increases the badass level. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So on the desk, we got the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard and Rokat Cone Pure Mouse sitting on top of the Parex mouse pad, and it appears that he drilled a hole for both the wires. Nicely done. In addition to those speakers on the wall, he's also using the popular HyperX Cloud 2 headset, which is resting on a self-made headphone stand, which honestly just looks like a piece of wood. I mean, it looks good though, I'm not bashing it at all. I don't know what that tiny robot thing is from, but it's a nice little prop to your setup, along with that wooden pencil holder next to your PC. Speaking of which, it's packed with an i5-4590 and an EVGA GTX 1080. And finally, we got the cable management, no complaints at all, everything is under control. I'm definitely loving the atmosphere of this setup, job well done putting everything together. Thank you, Michael, for entering. I love it when I come across music production setups. It's a nice change from the usual gaming and Mac workstations. It's interesting to see what music producers or mixers work with. So we got the 34-inch ultrawide from Dell that's sandwiched by a pair of Atom A7X speakers, and below that he's got his MIDI, or MIDI, I don't even know how you say that, keyboard, which is hooked up to the Native Instruments audio interface. Can I just call it a piano keyboard? He's also using the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard and Logitech G500 mouse. For gaming, he's rocking the Turtle Beach Air Force Recon 320s, which are hanging under the desk. And for mixing music, he's got the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros, which are sitting on a really cool headphone hanger. I'm not sure where that's from, but if you guys figure it out, make sure to leave a link down below. I might pick that up for myself. He's got some of his mixing gear on a desk adjacent to his setup, like the DJ turntable and mixer from Behringer, along with a Rode NT1 microphone. The entire room also appears to be lightly padded with some acoustic foams. Cable management is spot on, looks like the rack is holding up everything, and down here he's got the PC that's powering this entire setup. It's equipped with an i7-4770K and an R9-280X. That pretty much wraps up this entire setup, great work keeping everything so organized and clean. Thank you Nick for entering. At number 3 we have Roy with a pretty dope looking triple display setup. So he's rocking three 24 inch Samsung monitors that are sitting on a self-made custom built desk which he apparently 3D modeled. Wow. Under the desk on the right side, he's got his PC sitting on a shelf which has an i7-3570K and an EVGA GTX 970. By the way, props on coloring those SSDs to match the color scheme. For audio, he's using the Logitech Z443 speakers and he also has the Logitech G930 wireless headset. I'm not sure about the wood color on those combined with the black and blue color scheme of the entire setup. To me, it just doesn't blend well together, but to each its own. He's also using the Rokat ISQ FX Gaming Keyboard and Logitech G502 Spectrum Mouse. And that's pretty much it on the desk other than a few Rubik's Cube looking props, once again in wood. Excellent work with cable management, looks like the monitor cables are hooked up on the wall and the rest of the wires are hidden neatly behind the backboard in some sort of a rack. If you stayed consistent with the black and blue color scheme, I would have liked your setup even more, but regardless, it's a badass setup nonetheless. Thank you, Roey, for entering. Speaking of triple monitor setups, we got Scott next up with three 24-inch BenQ monitors, a Razer Black Widow Ultimate Keyboard, and a Razer Ouroboros Mouse. The first thing that I noticed were not the monitors, but the two PS4s that he has behind his PC. Like, what possible reason would you need two of these stacked on each other? Is one of them defective or something? I guess that explains why you have six PS4 controllers too. <laughs> Anywho, the PC that's pushing these pixels is powered by an ASUS Strix 1070 and an i7-6700K. Cable management is pretty good, I mean there's a rack holding up the power strip and most of the cables. And the wires behind the PC are also wrapped together nicely, so I can't complain. I also like that mini fridge you got down there, by the way. That's pretty much it, a straightforward triple monitor set up with a bunch of Star Wars posters and figurines on the shelf. Thank you, Scott, for entering. 
last but not least, we have a very interesting split setup from Thomas. Looks like he's using an Acer X34 Ultrawide as his main monitor and a smaller Acer version on the other side. I would guess for console gaming, but he doesn't have a console and it's hooked up to the same PC. So maybe he's using it to watch videos or something. I honestly have no idea why he wouldn't watch videos on his Ultrawide because that's what I do. The keyboard is the Ducky Fire 69 edition and he's paired that with the Cougar 700M mouse, both of which are resting on the extended mouse pad from Corsair and I will give you props on drilling that hole for cable management. I always love to see that. I also like how you positioned your Logitech Z506 speakers in all four corners of your desk. That's pretty interesting. He does have a pair of Astro A50s in the corner as well. The PC that's powering the setup is a beast. It's equipped with a 5960X and an EVGA 1070 Super Clocked Edition. And cable management, holy shit, this guy took it to the next level and mounted literally everything under the desk. We're talking routers, power strips, and even his freaking subwoofer. <laughs> that's a bit extreme, but hey, look at how clean it looks, bravo. A very clean and badass setup, no doubt. Thank you, Thomas, for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys vote using the app down below. It's completely free and you guys can check out the real-time votes and I'll announce the winners on my social media platforms sometime next week. Actually, on the weekend, Saturday. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.